So this is Ian. He did the Chuck Norris facts. Hi, Ian. Hi, how are you? So can you tell us a little bit about what Chuck Norris is exactly? Okay, well, Chuck Norris is an actor. Chuck Norris facts are these kind of like little one-liners that got started on my website. They're just kind of like, it's kind of, they're hard to describe because they kind of, they're just, they're short and they kind of get you from where you're not expecting to, it's very, it's very ineffable. But I mean, just to give you an example, the chief export of Chuck Norris is pain. Or one of my favorites for uh, a long time has been, you know, Chuck Norris is currently being sued by NBC claiming that law and order are the trademark names of his left and right legs. Um, they're kind of just like out there, funny little things, and they're apparently highly addictive to the internet consuming public. What are you doing with Chuck Norris Facts right now? Right now, well, so we had the website, and the website spawned a book. The book came out in November. Uh, we kind of got sued for the book in December, and right now we're kind of handling that. Um, so we're kind of just staying a little low. When, when you're saying we're handling it, do you have a team of people that are helping you out? Well, lawyers, yeah. They, they get paid a lot of money, and they tell me not to talk about it. So I don't know how much we can go further down this road. Wait, yeah. is, it, is it just yourself that started the website? Like, you only? Um, well, I, so the whole thing got started with these Vin Diesel facts. Um, and that's something that I started myself. And then we put up a poll a couple months in asking who the next fact generator should be about. And there were about 12 options, and then there was a write-in. And more people wrote in Chuck Norris than voted for any of the 12. How do you think the Chuck Norris write-in started? How did it start? I mean, there were just 12 options, and they were just kind of people who were in in pop culture at the time. So this is like when Snakes on a Plane was big. So we had like Samuel L. Jackson, and this has been like Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan were all, you know, doing their thing. So there were a lot of those types of people. So Chuck Norris was really kind of out of left field. And so I was a little confused because I wasn't really a fan of his work, or I wasn't familiar with his work. Um, but, you know, if that's what if that's what people wanted, I did very little advertising. Um, I got, um, I posted a link on something awful, and I told maybe like four friends on AIM, and that was it. And it didn't get really big until someone linked to our top 30 facts on collegehumor.com. So College Humor kind of helped you out. And then from there, um, who approached you for the book deal? Um, about this time, two years ago, I had a couple publishers approach me. Um, we had turned them down, and then into the summer, I was approached by an agent at William Morris Agency, which is you know a very big name. And I thought, wow, well if they if they are confident that somebody wants to do this book, then maybe I'll reconsider. And then I put it all together like one night in uh, in uh, like November of '06, and um, it it got done.